Hey kids, Miss Kulkarni here. We are going to continue with our unit 2 chemistry calculation and today actually we are going to talk about metric system convergence. What we are going to do in chemistry is much more intense and for that purpose we will use dimensional analysis and then you are going to use the magic table which I showed you here. Yes, so we have these important units here. And then did you look up on the right side? Everything is going to a unit which is a basic unit. So if you remember this by some trick simple method, that will be great. Mealy is minus 3, micro is negative 6 and nano is negative 9. Kilo is positive 3 and negative 2 is for centimeters. These are just simple numbers we associate with milli, micro, nano and all those things. So if you remember those, then it's very simple that plus 3 you can see here in exponent. Then we have negative 6 for micro that comes for in exponent. So as we go on, you will find out how easy it is to use this convergence. Let's begin our first question. We are converting 32 nanometers to meter here. So I'm going from nanometers to meter. That's my roadmap. Now let me again tell you we have meters, gram, liters and joule. All these are basic units. And when we have basic units, we only need one step roadmap. We don't need to stop over anywhere else. So, nanometer to meter is your roadmap. You begin writing in the grid, same thing. Then you write your given. That's the first thing you write. And then you're going to crisscross cancel the units which we have. So, we write nanometers there. After this point, if you go back to table, it will tell you 1 nanometer is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. And you're going to use the coefficients for each of the term and put those right here. So that's what I get when I plug those values. The next step is to calculate the final answer and in which I do crisscross cancelling of those units which are common. And then I am going to multiply the remaining numbers which I got. And then the answer comes out to be 3.2, 10 to the negative 8, so many meters. So, it is not that difficult, right? Let's take one more question. This is what is given to us. That is what we have to find out. So, your roadmap is liters to microliters. And remember from table what we got. 1 microliter is 1 times 10 to negative 6 liters. Let's get our grid. Liters, microliters. Given goes right here in the beginning box. Then we need to cancel liters. So liter comes over here. And then you cancel the common units. You already know that, right? But before that, we need to plug those coefficients. So we have 1 microliter here and then we have 1 time 10 to negative 6 here. So once when we cancel those units and multiply all these numbers, what we end up getting is 4.56 and 10 to the third and our unit now is microliter. So we got done with that. Here's one more practice question for you. And I want you to work on your own on this. We have beginning mass of 58.97 kilogram and we have to go to gram. So that's our roadmap. And I'm going to just help you. 1 kilogram is 1 times 10 to the third gram. Now I want you to begin your grid, cancel those and get the answer and check your answer when you are done. The answer should be 
897 and times 10 to the fourth grams okay so I hope you can get that answer so now we are going to convert from prefix to prefix milli centi kilo nano these are called prefixes so if you are converting from prefix to prefix again we are going to go back to our US map and, and then imagine we are going to go on a journey and we are going to suppose start that's our beginning point maybe in Texas from Dallas airport and let's say maybe if you are going to fly from my United you usually go from Dallas to in Denver your flight goes there and then if you're going to go to New York your flight goes to New York or if you're going to go from here to maybe say in California your flight goes from Dallas to Denver and from Denver it goes to California what I'm trying to tell you is Denver is the United Hub so all flights are going to go through Denver before they go to the other one I mean most of the time that's what we are considering so same thing goes with the units if we had to convert here centimeter to nanometer both centi and nano they have prefixes so when I do conversion my roadmap is going to go from centimeter to meter that's our hub just like United has a hub in Denver we have a hub meter that's a basic unit and from there we are going to go to nanometers if you get this part it is not at all difficult guys so we have centimeter then we have meter and we get nanometer after that we are going to put crisscross centimeter here and crisscross meters here we begin with the given value so that's 231 and if you look at the table it will tell you one centimeter and it will be equals that value for meters one nanometer and it will be that value over here so after we are done with this the next step is you cancel the units when you cancel the similar units you are left with all these numbers and you're going to multiply and divide and get the final answer which comes out to be 2.31 times 10 to the 9 nanometers this is going from microgram to centigram so remember again we need to go through our hub the basic unit microgram to gram to centigram same old stuff getting the grid ready the next step is cancelling the unit so we need to do crisscross cross same units your given is going to go right here so that will be 6.99 times 10 to 8 that goes there your microgram will be 1 and from your tables you'll get the value minus 6 here and then over here it is 1 and negative 2 after you cancel all the units which are common in crisscross fashion there goes microgram and there goes gram you're going to multiply all the numbers and the answer which we get here is 6.99 times 10 to the 4 centigram. So you got the point. We need to always go through the basic unit. This is the last problem which is for you to solve. I'm going to get you started. We are converting from 0 0.100 nanometers to centimeters remember again if your beginning point is a nanometer prefix you have to go through our main central hub which is meters the basic unit and then going to centimeters then you're going to get the grid ready and you're going to get the final answer and we're going to check your answer in the class to see whether you got it correct or not I hope you enjoyed the video and you understood 
how to convert metric system units. So, bye-bye.